Since Robot C is already installed, you will need to perform just a few more steps before getting started with Virtual Worlds. To launch Robot C, double click on the Robot C icon on your desktop. Inside of Robot C, start your trial version of Virtual Worlds by going to the Help menu and selecting the Manage Licenses option. To add a new license, click on the Add License button at the bottom of the License Management window. From here, you will need to select a version of Robot C to start a Robot Virtual Worlds trial. To do this, select the appropriate version of Robot Virtual Worlds from the Product drop down menu. After you've selected your version, click on the Start Trial button to begin your trial. You will be asked if you would like to create a desktop icon for your trial. Choosing Yes is recommended. Once your trial has started, close the License Management window by clicking the Close button. Next, ensure the correct compiler target is selected. The compiler target tells Robot C which type of robot you're targeting either a virtual robot or a physical robot. To change the compiler target, select the Robot menu and hover over the Compiler Target option. From here, you will see Physical Robots and Virtual Worlds options. Select the Virtual Worlds option by clicking on the Virtual Worlds menu item. Now that the compiler target is set, you need to select a virtual world to use. To do this, go to the Window menu and hover over the Select Virtual World for Use option. Initially, you will only have one world available. In a later video, we'll cover how to install additional worlds. For the time being, select the Learning Robot C Tables Preview by clicking on the menu item. You're all set to start using virtual worlds. Follow along with the next video to learn how to download a program to your virtual robot.